Thanks everybody for joining this call. There is a new training and I think it is time to go over some modules you got with Sales Dynamite Jack. Learn more about the new Biz Prospector and have time to answer your question because I see when we really interact with each other and you ask always those great questions. I kind of get motivated and uh, are able to explain things about, you know, what didn't come in my mind. So, um, one of the things, oh, before we go further, let me ask you a question and then I will address it kind of at the end, okay? So, my question is, once you have a client do you know how to take the credit card and how to do the monthly billing? So Wayne said yes, Wayne said no. Michael said PayPal. So do you have a solution for that? Send invoices, take the credit card, put a recurring plan. So, I will address that at the end. Does that make sense? I will provide a solution for that. So, one of the things that came up on a regular basis is the membership side. So, we had, I don't know if I can still log in, we had the uh, local team jack membership side but over time um, so many products got loaded over there it's kind of if you don't see the wood because of the trees you see all those links on the left and they all have sub menus on a, a lot of links so people say hey jack I bought the product but I don't know you have so much so much uh, going on so I wanted for the for the mem for the Sales Dynamite Jack, I want to be clear that you got Dynamite, you got Lead Finder Jack, you, you get Lead Local Team Jack, you get the new Biz Prospector, you get access to Maps PhD Expert, and there is a resources link. Okay? And all the bonuses are labeled. So bonus 1 to bonus 2. 10. So I kind of feel now you clearly know what you get with Sales Dynamo Jack. And today's training is about uh, the new Biz Prospector and other models <coughs> you get with the Sales Dynamo Jack. So enter yes or no if you have access to Sales Dynamo Jack. And I know a little bit where you're at. So Arlene said yes. Ramus said yes. James said yes, Tom said yes, and then Denise said I'm not sure, so send a support ticket and I can answer that for you, support at jackhopman.com, and I see 99% yes, so that's good, so I, uh, Denise said I was confused, so many things on your side, that is totally correct, and I will help you to answer that, so send an email to support at jackhopman.com, and I can look you up where you have access to and give you the, the information what you need to use the products. So with that said, I want to dig in a little bit first to the new Biz Prospector because that is new. And then I um, speak a little more of the invoice system uh, later on. So once you log in in the new Biz Prospector, you can set your own password that is also new. So we send you a link with email and then you enter your password, your preferred password. So that is also new. Then um, the Lead Finder Jack Windows tool does a lot of stuff. And the Dig Deep will try to get information like the business owner name 
like his email, like his phone number, but it's not always successful, correct? You don't get 100% of the names, 100% of the emails, 100% of the phone number. And that is actually very important, correct, to contact them. So we created a web-based application where you have do nothing to install. You get the business real name, you get the business phone number, and you get the business email address, all verified. So it's kind of the best of the best, correct? Web-based and the contact information verified. So my question is, before I go in detail, have you already used the new Biz Prospector? Have you logged in? Have you set your password? And have you sur sur surfed around to see how it works? So I see Jimmy said, Mike said yes, Jimmy said no, 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 yes, Denise said no, Tom said no, and Raymond said no, being sick. So I see a couple of yeses and a couple of no's. So it's time to um, to take action, correct? So once you're logged in, you automatically see the list, and each list is a group of companies which has business owners with a real name, a real phone number, and real email. So on the domain screen, okay, it's time out. On the domain screen, you can set a filter, and you can say, I want to search to companies from United States, United Kingdom, Canada, Australia. So you have a lot of choices, okay? United States is obvious the most businesses and then you can you can go very detailed but of course how more detailed how fill how more you filtered out how lesser companies you were left so maybe you don't want uh, a few companies you want have a big pool correct And so now you get those companies. And then you can say, uh, Jack, give the name, the webinar. And then say, I want, uh, you can see what the roofing is about. I want to add this company, this company. Or I can say, just add the currently displayed to the list. So now, those companies are added to the Jack Hopman webinar list and you can do that for the next page too. Okay? So let me add a couple. Uh, local credit is, is hard that per year per month total credit is 2000 you get uh, 50 credits uh, per month and they uh, they get saved so they're not getting wasted but it is of course admin account but here uh, there's a credit screen which show what you used okay so if you go to a list and see Jack Homer webinar you see uh, the company who has added to the list so that is step number one you add company to the list without scraping just with a click okay you can add uh, how many can you add per day? I think 50 with sales dynamo jack packets. But the credit screen will tell. So then you go to uh, emails and you want to set up 
an email template. So we have templates on there's a library and you can download one of those or you can create one. So just let's say I run offer SEO serves, okay? So now you have download SEO serves and you can say I want to edit it. And then the beauty of this is you can customize this email template with tokens. So each email you send uh, is personalized. And that is the trick, correct? So you enter your phone number, the email address, your name and your, your tracking phone number. And then uh, high name. So you see that is the name of the business owner. Okay, you can save this. So now the email template is ready and now you can start the campaign. Who has used an autoresponder in the past? Okay, if you, if you have used an autoresponder then you also work in terms of campaigns and lists, correct? But now you don't need to do a Facebook squeeze page or whatever lead generation uh, you have, now you get those business names and emails right in the application. So if you start a new campaign, you select the list you want to target and then you select the email template you want to send. Okay? And if I would, if I would now uh, just click on the start campaign now that email list get used to send emails with the re related email template now can it be simple or not I don't think so correct you don't need a squeeze space you don't need to run Facebook ads you don't need to scrape it's right in the application you set up your email template you use tokens and then you start your campaign. It's a one, two, three step. Anybody questions about that? So there are some questions about the credits and there is some uh, things kind of work in the system so programmers work on that. Uh, I saw you have a token for name and others. Where does it come from? The name and the business on the name and the, and the email come from the domain register, so that is, that is verified information. So if you go to emails and you go to templates, the tokens you can use are the domain, the name, the company name, the city and state. You can use them in the subject line, and in the body. You can use domain, domain link, name, company, city and state. So you can use those tokens in the email template. Does that make sense? Is the email sent from the system or do we need to set up something like Aweber. So if you go to, uh, let's save this, if you go to mail server and you go to modify that, you have two options. Either you use our mail server and you just enter the sender email address, correct? So basically you have to do nothing. If you have your own mail server like SendGrade, Amazon or like other, you can still do that. And then you enter your own mail server and then it will send and will use that. So either you use the standard mail server, which you have to do nothing, or you use your own mail server. We add our own names and address on the mail template, yes. So if you have those templates and you do edit them, you will see your tracking phone. If you see those arrows, 
you, you sh added that email template to your name and your phone number, correct? And I probably should not show Jack Hopman, but your name. So, and there are some, here's a token, that token is for each business name is for different. So it will customize that email for each business. So it, it is a personalized email what the company receives. And those converts the best. They don't know that you use a tool which can just customize emails. Does that make sense? So it's pretty simple. Nothing to install. Web-based. It's Windows, Mac friendly. Comes with verified information, the name, the, the email, and the phone number. And if you want, you can even export the results. There is no search in um, Oh, there is search here, there's a um, CRM system in it. So if you go to the campaign of list here, you can search to, let's say, you, you have a response from a company. You can search that company and then click on the plus sign. And then you get all the details of the company. And then you can say, hey, um, I want to um, follow up with you. Um, next Monday. So you can say next Monday is 24th and the day and then say uh, follow up follow up uh, call John for a demo and you add it to the agenda. Now if you go to agenda you will see that uh, Scott you see follow-up is scheduled. So you will, if you go to agenda, you can use that. Okay, that is the next upcoming action. That is the second upcoming action. The campaigns we need to send manually. Yeah, you, you, you just start campaigns. You select the list. And once you select the list, start new campaign, give it the name. And, and click on start campaign. It's kind of the same how it works in an autoresponder. Jamie said, should I send emails from my personal Gmail account or from my business email account? Uh, you mean from if if your your Gmail account probably will not work and your business account will not work if you use that as mail server. So as mail server you need like SandGrind, Amazon or the inbuilt mail server. The from email address which you can set in Gmail or business both are fine. I don't think there's much difference. The biggest difference is that you either take action or not. If using your own autoresponder, do you have the, to export the list and up it to your autoresponder? So if you have a real autoresponder, you can export the prospects and import to your autoresponder. Um, some autoresponder companies don't like uh, to upload emails all the time. They will, you have to check off how did you get that information. The second thing is if you use a third party autoresponder, uh, you cannot uh, easily customize each email. You can, but it's a little bit harder. So Peter said, I don't, I don't think I understand how the tool fits in the whole sales dynamic system. Can you explain that? So, good question. 
actually a very good question. So what is Sales Dynamajack about? Sales Dynamajack is about prospecting new clients and also do the fulfillment. It's the complete biz in the box. So the web-based new biz prospector prospect businesses and you have the real name, the real phone number and the real email. So you have a high chance that you get in contact with those business owners. And that will help you to offer almost any service. Does that make sense now? So it helps you to get new clients. Barry said, can you create a token for your company name to be used with the email template? So you don't need a token for that, Barry. If your company name can just enter by hand. It is for each email template the, the same. So just enter your company name. Makes no sense that you need a token for that. Doesn't change for each email. Arne said, I, it finds people who are just registered a domain. So they probably need a website and other services. Correct. They need a website. They need a Google My Business listing. They need a Facebook page. They need AdWords service. They need, oh my God, they need so much. Correct? And guess what? You are the local marketer. You know how to create a website. You know how to create a Google My Business listing. And probably, or you should know, how to run an AdWords campaign. How do you find the company name? They come with it, Peter. Uh, this application, the prospect comes with the business owner name. Comes with the business name. Comes with the email. and Comes with the phone number. Denise said, are you providing all these services and we just find the client? No, I provide the tools which you can use and should use to provide the services. I don't need so much money clients. I, I have a very big clientele. So I most of my clients now I get a referral. That is the beauty of the system. So if you are a local marketer, how many clients do you need really to make a good substantial income? Any idea how many clients you need? Raymond said 20. I was trying to do a search but didn't find any domains in my local area. So don't so so Put the filter a little bit opener. Aileen said 50. So let's say 50. 50, you have a, a good clientele. Do you know what happens when you have 50? You get new clients by referral. You don't need to prospect so hard anymore. You can increase your prices. That that means you earn more and you work less. If you spend one hour per client per month, how many hours you need to work for a good substantial income each month? Amos said 50, yeah. Who likes to work 50 hours per month? Is about 12 hours per week, 13 hours. You see with 13 hours per week when you have your internet marketing business set up, that is kind of the amount of work you need to put in with recurring payments.
So Woos has learned or is offering Google AdWords management. I keep saying that, correct? With Google AdWords management, you don't need to work more than one hour per month once the campaign is set up. I'm not joking. It's less, but I'd say always one hour. 50 clients, one hour. $200 per month at least. $10,000 per month. So Isabel asks a question, since you are the expert in AdWords, can you give me an idea how many phone calls you could generate from kitchen cabinets business with a thousand dollar budget per month? Okay. Isabel, uh, do you have a kitchen uh, cabinet business? <clears throat> and Isabel, um, how much do they earn per client? My husband boss, okay. So how much, so you you know that business. So how much do they earn for each kitchen? 15,000, the suspend correct, but how much do they earn on in, per client? $5,000? Profit, yeah. Not not the money. Now, how how much do they how how much do they earn per client? Five thousand dollar per sale. Yeah, that's what I talked. If I promise that business one client per month, and it costs him thousand dollar. Do you think he would like that to have an ROI from five? Say it again, okay. So his profit from each client is $5,000 at average, correct? I promise that client to get at least one client for the thousand dollars spent in AdWords. Do you think he would like that? Very. So Isabel, do you think if you say the same words you can have them as a client? Yes. So it's not I, I keep saying this, I convert almost any local business, but I use other words. You were thinking on calls, correct? But now I put dollar signs to it. I said $5,000 you earn, if I bring $1,000 a client, you have an ROI for five. And business owners also think in dollars. So if you, have, if you can generate an ROI from five, they say yes please. Correct. <clears throat> so you have to you have to speak the business language. You have to speak like a business owner. Think on dollar signs. What is business about? I keep you guys. If you are on the map now for me, you probably know the answer. What is a business about? Making money. Correct. So if you speak in the same language to make money, I can make you money, then you speak their language. Does that make sense? So who has gone to my AdWords training? Enter yes or no. Have you understand that AdWords is actually simple when you use the strategies I you learn. Which keywords to use, how to create an ad, 
how to create the groups, how to set up, how what is what's important on a website. Even I created a template. Uh, even I created a template which which you put content on it. So yes, it takes some learning. Ten, ten, twenty sessions from an hour to learn Google AdWords management. Do you know? Do you think Google AdWords is still around in ten years from now? Do you want to have kind of learn something? what you can do the next 10 years but actually you don't need to learn anything else <laughs> it's Google AdWords I keep saying that if you are on my training from I think I started three four years ago it never changed and do you know what the strange thing is other marketers gurus start telling the same things what I say for three years now but do you know what they don't do that work by themselves they only sell it they 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 sell kind of okay you need to do that you need to do this but they don't understand that what's they just sell it okay so with that said um, Q&A time, correct? AdWords for local is different anyway. Yes, AdWords for local marketing is completely different than AdWords for uh, a shopping cart, for a product what you sell online. Oh, I have an uh, interesting, interesting, interesting question actually when you we come on shopping cart. What if you guys like a one-click solution to create a shopping cart. You just upload the products, you enter the payment information from the business and you can you can uh, offer shopping carts, uh, e-commerce sites to local business owners. I see yes, 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 great. This is coming soon. This is coming soon, so we are working on it. So that is uh, coming soon. Oh, the billing system you spoke about. I have business that I want to introduce to the concept. Yes, yes. So, guys, speak about that business. What they sell. Jamie said, yes, one click would be great. Yes, it is one click. I I use now for a couple of my clients. You just upload the products, you connect it to merchant account, and you get paid monthly because it is a shopping cart that needs to get maintained, correct? So, guys, tell me about that business. I I. I have business that I want to introduce to, to the concepts. So tell me about the business. John said monthly billing for fitness clubs, members, personal trainers. Okay, that's a monthly billing system. That is not an e-shop, uh, correct? Uh, yes. So, John, are you looking for a monthly invoicing system? where you can just show a, a, a buy button, they click on it and they enter in the system and they get charged invoiced monthly or weekly or whatever your setup is. So I have been thinking now for now about a year I get this question a long time hey Jack you sell the sales dynamo Jack uh, system what do I do when I get a client how can I get the, how can I take the credit card how can I invoice them 
do do you do you see do you recognize those questions? So this weekend, that is my planning, I'm going to present a solution for that. Okay. It's, does that make sense? So look at uh, my weekend promotion. Okay. It will be great. I promise it will be great. So Gear said they sell products in a local store and now are trying to sell online. Yes. So that e-commerce site uh, will probably solve that solution. So Raymond, I have a surprise for Sales Dynamic Jack members. Of course I have surprise for Sales Dynamic Jack members. But would you think? Actually, that is where we have worked the past days on it, to have a surprise for the new invoicing system. The products are in very high demand. Good. That means probably you can earn quite a bit of from it. So, with the sales of Arnhem Jack, you get the Dynamite, which gives you customized websites. You get access to the Lead Finder Jack. You get access to local Team Jack Enterprise, more than 250 niches. You get access to the new best prospect, what you just learned web-based with a real name, real phone number, real email, nothing to scrape. You get access to Maps PC because every business, every local business needs a Maps listing and Maps PC export. You get access to it as an active member. You get resource and all the bonuses are labeled 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, does that make sense? Any other questions before we close this call? So for one price we get all of that? Yes. It's all in one deal. It's in the sales diamond jack deal. It's incredible. It's incredible. So let me try to uh, get access and then get to the get access button. So that is what you get. The new best prospector. Okay, you get the sales dynamic jack. You get lead finder jack, the Windows-based software. You get logo team jack enterprise. You get uh, Maps PC expert. As bonus, you get local profits and a series of live training. And then you all get all those free bonuses. What are the best niches to convert into sales? Send me an email, Charles. How to get AdWords? Okay, when you go to jackhopman.com, you see here products, and one of them is is uh, AdWords Academy, correct? So the only thing that you have to remember is jackhopman.com and then most information you will find there. find there. What will be the price of the new credit card processing you will be offering? Yeah, that is a surprise, but it will be presented uh, this weekend, okay? But I, there's a special for Sales Dynamo Jack members. K 
can the credit card solution be connected to PayPal as a merchant account? Yes, it can. Are you adding Stripe to the shopping cart? Yes, it is. It is already. I'm using it that way. Thank you, love it. Did you see my white label question? No, I did not. Did, did you have a, law, a list of plugins recommended for new sites? You don't need, uh, you don't need many plugins if you use local team jack uh, enterprise. I need a wide labor service to do the work for me. So if you need that, uh, ask help in the Facebook group. So uh, there are enough people who like to do fulfillment. Also, the shopping cart can be connected to PayPal. Yes, PayPal, Autowise, Stripe. Those are the three major. Yeah, the new shopping cart is really cool. One click install. But this weekend, you will get to learn the new invoicing system. Isabel said, can we become affiliates? Yeah, just send me an email, support at jackhopman.com. Let me go from there and let me know where you want to become affiliate in. Support at jackhopman.com. Isabel said everything. Yeah, let's see what you have to offer. Okay, tell me how much sales you can generate. Gary said, can't wait for the billing option. Yes. Now the billing option has actually two things. Has more things, but two important things. One is, if you have clients, you want to be able to take the credit card. Either enter in by yourself or send them a link that they can add the credit card, correct? And you want to set up uh, monthly recurring billing. So that is one. But the second and not less important one is if you have a website with several services you want to add buy buttons on that. Uh, you want to add buy buttons on your website, correct? And when they click it's kind of the same it's not exactly the same, but it's kind of the same as this. Okay? So you go to Sales Dynamo Jack and you and you add a buy button to your website. Correct? And this this represents a certain service you offer. You the website visitor clicks on it and then you go to a checkout page. This is another domain name. And then they can either pay with PayPal or credit card and you tell what the in summary, what the service and the product is uh, about. So now you can take payments from your website easily. Okay. E also, if the service is recurring, you can set it up that the client get charged re on a recurring basis. Does that make sense? So that is coming. It's not this product but it's very similar. Can you turn off the client service for non-payment? Can you turn off the client service for non -payment? Yes, uh, but which service are you offering? I can do that. I have an uh, license system, but what, what do you want to turn off? For recurring monthly, yeah, but what do you want to turn off? Of course, you have an interface and you can log in that interface and if they don't want the service anymore, you stop the billing. 
Is that what you're looking for? So, temporary until payment. Yeah, but what do you want to turn off? New. Jamie said, access to the service. Yeah, but which service? Tell me, is that a website? What is the service? Turn off the website. What do you want to, what, what do you want to turn off? Website. Uh, that is not implemented yet, but that might be a nice add-on if I get that question more often. That's actually a nice uh, if if they are hosted on WP Gateway. Yes, actually that is a nice idea. I haven't implemented yet, but that could be a nice uh, add-on. So, yeah, we can implement that. If I get that question uh, more often, then we can create that. Uh, Jamie asks new product recommendations. Schedule Dynamite Jack. I want to be able to let clients sign up for a consultation right for my website. Can you help us with that? Yes, that is coming too. Jamie, that is coming too. That is another product. Uh, Raymond said, I would love to see being able to shut off website for non-payment. Yes, actually that is a nice idea. It's not too hard to implement if, it, you know, if it's a WordPress site, you send a signal to, um, to the WordPress plugin and then it shows uh, under construction or whatever. Here said, I'm glad to be on this webinar today. Interesting information, thanks. Girish. Dan said, what's the difference between Business Unlimited and Enterprise? Business Unlimited give you access to three niches and Enterprise give you access to 250 niches. Better said, just reflect the domain to a closed page. Yes, just redirect the domain to closed page. So, yeah, something like that. Uh, actually, we probably can let you decide what you want to show certain text or upload an image. So we we could do that. Roger said. Was last weekend just special for Sage Dynamite Jack? Did I miss it? So each month I have product of the month. And the product of the month is on sale on weekends. So common weekend, uh, Sales Dynamite Jack is still $9. Okay? For the trial version. And this weekend, you don't want to miss, even if you have Sales Dynamite Jack, you don't want to miss my email. Because I will add something to the Sales Dynamite Jack package. And that is the invoice system. So you, you definitely want to check it out. Okay? And if you have the business version and the enterprise version, use the enterprise version. Okay, and it, it, 
if you have the enterprise version, the plugin knows that and it, it will show the enterprise version. Okay, so it's now about one hour that we have training. I really thank you guys for your questions. Very good question. Um, use, start to use the new BIS prospector and look out for my email in the weekend which also includes the new invoice system. Thanks everybody and I'm looking forward to see you next Tuesday 8 p.m. EST on the training. Thank you so much.